Hey guys, what's up? It's Power here, back for some more Pokemon Platinum Wedlock Challenge on the Nintendo. Yes, last time we left off, we took on a few of these trainers here. Chops, critically wounded last time, but fear not, we have a plethora of Moo Moo Milk to heal him up and supply him with lots of good proteins and fats so he can be big and strong. Uh, let's see what we're doing. We have Dip. XP shares on ears. I am just walking about battling, I think, right now. So that is probably something that I'm going to do. Uh, I assume this cave in here is our next location. I don't even know what it's called, but we'll have a look. The Ruin Maniac. He's fascinated. Wow. Tell me more. Uh, he wants me to go and capture the unknown Pokemon. I really don't know if I can be bothered. This is pretty freaky music if I'm going to be totally honest with you. It makes me feel very uncomfortable, so I'm getting out of here. We got Rock Smash. Oh, no, we do not have Rock Smash. We can brace the grass and get a Magmarizer. I think that's for Mag... No, not Magby. Magma already evolving the Magmortar, right? This hiker should be pretty easy with uh, Dip at the front of the party. Easy enough. Thankfully, a lot of these guys are low leveled, so. I have four water pulses left. Got a rush in the usage, but we shall see as we, we move onwards. Wow. Well, we get the confusion hex, thankfully. Is it going to hit? Mm hmm. Oh wow, I forgot about that. Is he gonna hit himself again? Please do. Paralyze hacks. Come on. Ah. Really, game? Really? Not cool at all. Confused and sleeping. Fantastic. Fantastic. Can you. Okay, okay. I, I thought, like, is it going to. Is it going to show me being confused while I'm sleeping? Because I honestly would not think that would be fair. I might as well just wait until the confusion wears off. I mean, the Bronzor isn't really that powerful, is it? So I should be okay by myself. There we go. Okay, that's a grind type move. Well, now we know that uh, hidden power for dip is ground, and uh, with that, it is useless. Why would I want hidden power ground when dip is already part ground? Totally unsure. Totally unsure. I'll not concentrate on the past too much. Kranados. Thankfully, we do have a water pulse remaining for this little guy. This is actually going to hurt quite a bit. 30 damage. And that should take him out in one hit. Not bad. Alright, let's check out Moo Moo Milk. We have a Max Ether. Is it worth using the Max Ether? Probably not. Probably not. But I am... Oh man, how far away are we? Yeah, there's just... Well, we have Fly, don't we? So we're there. And the closest city, well, the Valor Lake Front's there, but the closest city is Sunny Shore or Pastoria. I know we can actually go to Pastoria south of here. Might be worth checking out, but at first I want to, you know, get everything that I can on this route. Well, let's go with Sonic. Alright, funky music. Let's go and grab a quick heal, and then we'll be on our way. 
Just I'd rather save my ethers for later in the game or in the Elite Four because I find that a lot of moves like Ice Beam and you know Fire Blast and stuff really powerful stab moves that hopefully I'll have at that point will be in high demand and I need to have a lot of PP for that and I really don't expect to uh, fuel my Pokemon with a lot of PP ups so gotta stock up all right so if we go directly south we fought pretty much everyone Uh-oh, have we got a Pokemon for this area? Uh, I think we have Rhyhorn. You know, I like what they did with uh, Magmar, Electabuzz, and Rhyhorn. Giving uh, these Pokemon sort of a third tier evolution, obviously with the Rhyperior around. It makes capturing these guys a lot more appealing. For sure. Alright. We got this Hager. We fought this Hager. We got this big guy here, though. With the weird, ominous music. So, not sure what's up with that, you know. I just got back from the store and I picked up this bar of chocolate. And, uh, it's a, a dairy milk bar, which is made by Cadbury's, a company in the UK. I don't think it's very common in the States or North America in general. But uh, it's actually like a fusion. They do these like fusion flavors, I guess, and have one off to other companies. For example, they used to have a dairy milk and Oreo bar of chocolate. And I saw one today. It was Chips Ahoy. <laughs> so it's basically like an entire bar that tastes like a, just a cookie, except with chocolate. It's honestly, I'm not a huge sweet fan. Sweet, I hate the way I pronounce that. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of sweets, but or chocolate in general. Um, but I liked it, man. I like it, it's very addicting. I like half the bar, and I, I'm not a big junk food eater. But anyway, let's finish the Porygon off. Really weird cry for Porygon. Jamal, what a name, what a great name. And let's see, uh oh. Tell me this, do I have battle animations off? No, I do not. Okay. Because I, honestly, that, that just happens all the time. Like, I'll just zone out and forget. And as a result, you poor folk will have to uh, just watch Pokemon move back and forth and hit each other. That's what it looks like anyway. We got another guy right here. Another Hager, in fact. I mean, the Hager theme in this game just sounds so jolly, you know? It just sounds like... Stereotypical Hager. Sh Shieldon? Shieldon? Shieldon, from the Big Bang Theory. I'm not a big fan of that show, personally, but... Had a lot of friends at university who enjoyed it, and... Yeah, to each their own is what you say, right? <laughs> Ronald. What a name. What a name, Ronald. So Lake Valor is the destination. A big root. Can you smoke it? Ah, uh, Zubat. Zubat, I have a lot of memories with uh, you, but unfortunately... I got myself a crowbat now, and I have no need for you whatsoever. Risky move here by me, but we're gonna go to items, and we're gonna head down to the bottom here. And what is he gonna pull out? He's gonna pull out a super repel. Bam! Because he don't want no stinking Pokemon up in his face. He's gonna, he gonna get this big, big lad instead. The big lad. You see, his sprite makes him look quite fat put it bluntly but his uh, sprite his sprite on the overworld makes him look a bit fat is what I'm trying to say in in the game he doesn't in the actual battle sorry see ya 
Oh wow, that did not want to KO. Not great, guys. You know, I've, I've noticed on YouTube, like, the universal term to refer to subscribers is, like, guys. Like, hey, guys. What's up, guys? What's going on, guys? You know, like, I, I go around uh, YouTube. And that is what I hear most people say. I just find that interesting. Vaporeon is... I really don't have anything that could have, you know, hurt Vaporeon. It's quite bulky. So send out a Pokemon with a really high attack just to like beat the hell out of it. Probably a battle through with that. Be a 75 damage stab as well. Stab meaning seem to have attack bonus. Does not want to KO sadly. But it's gonna die. Which is the mean thing here, of course. It's gonna die. I wonder if Ears is going to evolve into Lopunny. I'll, I'll, I'll just keep Chops in, you know? They're all using Quick Attack. You know, I always, I always find Flareon one of the more... One of the more... What am I going to say here? Uh, one of the worst evolutions is what I meant to say. Just no appeal whatsoever. Kind of mediocre stats. And, uh, yeah, just not that great in general. You know, I think the fire type has way too many good Pokemon, and Flareon is just kind of meh. If you get me. Now what they need to do is bring out Mega Flareon. Just one Mega Evolution for uh, Eevee, and it's going to be Mega Flareon. You know, well, where the hell's the Mega Eevee? You know, uh, where's that? You get an Eevee... You don't evolve it, and you get this badass normal type Pokemon. I love this music. Late at night, taking a stroll down by the lake. Then pianos. Well, this is a new encounter area, technically. Ah. Where the hell am I? This is this is not a town, is it? This is Lake Valor. You know, I don't remember this whatsoever. I don't know. The last time I played this game, I was like 12. Can I go in here? Okay. So, I guess... I'm just talking to everyone I can. Hey man, can you inform me in this? Okay, uh, what do I do then? Head into this restaurant and see if I can get some food. A fine meal can be like art. Okay. Looks like we're fighting. I mean, I just came in here to get some food. But instead, you want to escalate to violence? Disgraceful. And I will see that you die because of this. Uh, body slam Psyduck. And. Seismic Toss of Hydrock. Massive damage there from the Cricket Tune. Psyduck has a headache. Oh yeah. Cricket Tune is bug, but I might as well just do that. I might as well just do that. Almost want to KO. Battle throws BS 75. Even though it's probably going to be half effective, it's just a kill. Such a weird cry. <laughs> Sounds like a violin. See, what, what does that have to do with the conversation? We're talking about art and food. Oh, you were talking about a figure there.
There we are. Are these all double bottles? Ah, sure, why not? Okay, they are. This is perfect. Great area to get some XP here. Okay, so first thing we want to do is... Actually, I want to take them to Curlia. Because that Curlia can probably, like, sideways me or something and kill me. Which ain't good. See ya. Sonic Boom! Should kill him in one hit. You're just getting them levels in. Give up, my friends. Mr. Mime! Might as well go for the stab. Might as well go for the seismic toss. This is gonna hurt. Not we might hope this doesn't kill. Chops! Chops, you beast! You beast! It almost went per ship there, guys. It almost went per ship. Hopefully Mr. Man hasn't got like aftermath or the equivalent. Okay. Well we'll get chops healed up. Unless Mr. Man pulls a crit out of nowhere, we should be safe. Close one though. Here it goes. Don't crit. Don't crit. Okay, we're safe. Surprisingly, he did half my health. I guess 55%, I would say. Now, will ears evolve? That is the question. Ears, will you evolve? No. Not just yet. Ears says no. You think we can get one more in? I think we can. Which one? Sure, why not? Free XP, man. It's all it's all about. It's just a little bit. We got two Pokemon each. We got a Phoebus and we got a Roselia. Phoebus, ugliest Pokemon in the world. Okay, first things first. We taking down that Roselia ASAP. I'm X4 weak to grass. Okay. A grass nod on dip probably would have killed it. We need to kill this Roselia. I mean, it's only a BS2 evolution. Oh my gosh, that's not gonna be enough. Oh my gosh, dip, you beast. Saving yourself, what a legend. Beast ED versus Beast. Nah, you know what? It's uh, damage inflicting to myself, so no thanks. Uh, Phoebus, shoot Body Slam and Karate Chop. Karate, Karate. What is the pronunciation? Boom. Eugene. Hmm. He's still a happy guy. That's it. The guy doesn't care. It's, it's still a battle. He enjoyed having fun with. So anyway, guys, I'm going to sign out here. Until next time, taking on these next two trainers and then hopefully figuring out what the hell is going on down with the lake. I mean, I know there's a legendary Pokemon there, but are they going to get it? I'm not sure. Find out next time, though, on Pokemon Platinum. This is Pyro signing off. Have a nice day, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.